Hi guys, so today we are here with D2. She would like to color her hair. And we are going to do a hair tutorial and review of Arctic Fox uh, semi-permanent hair color. Um, today we're going to do aquamarine. And we have done this previously before, but we did it the last time a purple color. And I'm going to insert a photo of that right now. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go step by step of how we do this and we actually do not bleach her hair because she's only 11 years old and we don't want to damage her hair permanently. So we do lighten it up a bit and I'm going to show you how we do that uh, right now. So let's take this out. And the first thing I'm going to do is brush her hair. So she just showered and it's nice and wet. So, I should probably have a stool. I'm so short. <laughs> okay. It's okay. All right. Tilt your head back for me. All right. So, this is actually just going to be a dip. We're not going to color all of her hair. We like to do the ends because the lightener does cause the hair to get a little bit dry and because she's young we just want to do a little bit of color we don't want to do a full full head of cover color so I'm going to just brush it all to the back even from the front I just brush it all back just like this And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover her with a towel just so we don't get any of the products on her clothes. And just hold that around you. Okay. Okay. So how much of it did you want to be colored? The same amount, like up to the shoulder? Okay. All right. So the next time she gets a haircut, she'll probably cut her hair about that much. So I'm going to spray her hair with a lightening product at the point where she'll probably cut it. And what I'm using is the John Frieda Go Blonder. And we've actually tested this on her hair color before. You're not really, it says that it won't work on a brown hair, but because her hair does have natural highlights, it lightened her hair up after several uses. Um, today we're only going to we're only gonna do this once because the hair that's already here has been pre-lightened already and we don't wanna make it too, too light. We just wanna make it light enough so that the color will stand out. So I'm just going to spritz her hair with the John Frieda Go Blonder and then I'm going to brush it. And I'm going to separate this actually a little bit because the top layer is getting the product and the bottom isn't so I'm gonna separate that I'm gonna brush it again and I'm just gonna make my marker spritz the hair brush it through So the John Frieda Go Blonder is a really great product for lightening if you have blonde hair or dirty blonde hair or even red hair. Um, it really works very well to lighten up your hair. It doesn't cause a lot of damage. It takes a lot of applications for this to damage your hair um, to the point where it's kind of dry. But if you did this uh, the way that it's supposed to be used um, and then you did a uh, deep conditioning treatment, your hair would be just fine. So I'm just gonna soak her hair with this. Okay. And now, 
if it were summer, she can go out in the sun and the sun will do the lightning. But since it's winter, we are going to use a blow drying brush and I'm just going to blow dry her hair. So now that I've done just the bottom ends of the hair, you can already tell that this is much, much lighter than the top. But just remember, this is, this is not a first application of this product. Uh, the first time we lightened the hair, um, it probably was more like that. And the ends are just super duper light because we've done this before. Um, but if you do this uh, application about 10 times, which is the limit for the hair before they tell you not to do it anymore on the back of the bottle, uh, 10 times and you should get to about this color if you have this dark of hair. If your hair is lighter, it's going to be uh, much easier to achieve a, a lighter color. So I'm gonna, just going to do the rest of the hair and we'll be right back. So now that I've finished drying the ends of her hair, uh, tilt it back a little more. D2 wants to have a strand of blue going from the scalp down to the ends. Um, how do you want me to part your hair? In the middle or on the side? How do you usually part it? Okay, we're gonna part it on the side a little bit. Is that good? Yeah, Just like that? Good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to part her hair the way that she wants the hair to be parted. And then I'm just going to section off the hair that she wants to be uh, blue in the front. So how much of a strand did you want? Just a thick strand? Okay, so tilt your head. So let's see. Oh no. What? Just this or this too? That. I don't think that. Yeah. Okay, let's cut into the hair from the front. And I've made a part and I have a strand of hair that's right here. Blue. I'm going to separate the bangs that she has. And that's going to be. Okay, so turn this way. Okay. So now I'm going to move all of this hair to the side so that I can just work with that small strand of hair. Oops. I could probably just clip this out of the way. Okay, and I'm gonna spray this down. I'm just gonna have you Cover your face like this. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna put the towel there so that I don't get this on her skin. Or my eyes. Or her eyes. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in and spritz it down. And then I'm going to brush it in. 
is nice and wet. And I'm going to blow dry it. So you can see that this is much, much lighter than this part of the hair. I don't want to lighten this too much because if she doesn't cut the hair, it's just going to make it look very uneven in the color and we don't want to ruin it. We just want to be able to color it. The color will show up the most on the lighter part of the hair and then as you go up, it will be a lot less noticeable, but it'll, you'll still be able to see it. Uh, so we're this is the first time that we're doing a strand in the top. So we're gonna just try it out and see how um, We like it. So we're gonna do this first because I already separated the hair and blow-dried it and I don't want to lose that piece so All right You ready? <laughs> so the Arctic Fox semi-permanent hair color is cruelty free and it's vegan and i'm just going to read to you uh it has no peroxide no ammonia no ethyl alcohol no ppd so um it's actually a vibrant color that also conditions the hair and the first thing you're supposed to do is shampoo and dry the hair and then you're supposed to put uh petrolatum jelly if you're going to dye from the roots you would want to definitely apply something um to your hairline so that it doesn't get on your skin. Um, you wear your gloves and apply the color evenly working in small sections. Leave in for at least 30 minutes. Put a plastic cap on it and blow dry for 15 minutes. Rinse the hair in cold water and color will fade after each shampoo. May last longer depending on the hair type condition, porosity, products, and styling. Okay, so let's get started with the color. Would be. It smells like grapes. It smells like grapes. Okay, yeah, let's get started. Can you cover your, up your shirt? Yeah, let's see. Okay. I'm going to just start putting this in from the ends and I'm going to work my way up. Oh my god, I love this shawl. It reminds me of summer. And I'm not going to go all the way up to the root because I don't want it to look like she's growing blue, blue hair. hair. <laughs> I just want it to look like her natural color is fading into blue, if that makes sense. That actually looked look really cool if it looked like I was growing blue hair. <laughs> that would <laughs> no, look really gonna... cool. Okay. I'm going to use this comb to make sure that it's just brushed evenly through the hair. Oh, I hope that's not daddy's comb. <laughs> Uh, I think so. Oh, he's gonna brush. He has blue hair. That might be fun, might, wouldn't it? Yeah, I want to see Daddy with blue hair. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Uh, where's that little clip that I put? Oh, it's in your hair. It's in okay, hair. turn around. Face the wall. Alright, so I'm gonna take this little clip out, and I'm just gonna clip this to keep it separate from her hair and you can go forward so alrighty Maybe I'll have so I'm gonna divide the hair in half so the top half is here and the bottom half is here and then I'm just gonna work section at a time so I'm just gonna take a very thin amount of hair about that much and I'm gonna apply the product Also starting from the bottom and just working my way up the hair up until about the shoulder because it, when she cuts it, she can just cut that much out when she's done with it. What made you decide on green? Green? 
Well, blue, bluish green. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. No. You just decided. What if it looks green when it's because it's looking kind of green? Yeah. So I'm just brushing it because I want to make sure that all the strands are coated with the dye so that she gets a nice even coverage and she doesn't have like spaces of just the regular brown hair color in between. And then I'm going to move on to the next piece that I'm taking from the bottom. And I'm going to apply the product. We should have like a something there so it doesn't get blue. Starting from the bottom and working my way up. And then I'm going to brush. Almost dropped it on the floor. Blocked the floor thing again. I want chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to brush the hair to make sure that the product is evenly applied. And then I'm just going to add an extra layer to it because the last time uh we did it it the first time the first application of the product didn't really um, stain the hair as well as we wanted it to so we did a second application and that second one we put a lot of product on and it came out pretty pretty nice so i'm basically just going to do another layer um, well i'm now i'm going to put her hair into a plastic cap and I'm just going to Oh my goodness. I'm going to apply <laughs> some heat for 15 minutes and I'm just going to do it like this. So it's been 30 minutes and we're going to wash out her hair in the bathtub, which I'm not going to film, but um, that's what we're going to do now. And then we'll come back and I'll blow dry her hair and show you guys the finished result. Okay, so here we are and we have rinsed out the hair. It's been, we waited about 30 minutes. And then we rinsed it in the tub and I'm going to brush through the hair and I'm just looking at it. It does look more green than blue, which she's, she is fine with because it's just fun to color your hair. Yeah. Um, but 
I will blow it out with a blow dryer just so you guys can see what the finished color is. It's hard to see with um, wet hair it being wet. But the it does get very dark. dry, so it looked really nice. I'm yeah. So dry but as you can see the color is came out really vibrant so even though it's not the blue that we were expecting it's still a pr it is a pretty saturated color of um, it's a bluish green so that's next to her hair you can see the, the color and I think she likes it yeah <laughs> So as she styles her hair and she's going to basically, the way that she likes to wear her hair is in a braid. So she basically will brush it all to one side and then she braids it herself. And um, I, I can get you a hair tie. Just give me a sec. And um, so here is the color. I hope you can see it on the video. I will try to get a picture of it and I'll insert it right now. Um, but it came out really, really nice. It's blending really well. I think that it fades into a green color pretty seamlessly and she loves it. She likes it more than the previous color, the one that we showed in the beginning of this video. And, um, just keep in mind that when you do your hair with these colors, if you don't lighten it up to almost a, a white color it's not going to come out the color on the bottle it's going to come out um it's going to basically come out the way that it would look on your hair color so for her because her hair is brown hers came out more green than blue so as you can see on the bottle this is what the color looks like on the bottle and this is what the hair looks like but it definitely um, it definitely saturated the hair really well and I think that once we go out in the light it's going to be even more noticeable but she loves it and even this front piece that we didn't lighten up as much it still came out pretty much the same color so we were really surprised about that because the purple didn't come out as much on the hair that wasn't as light so that's something to keep in mind that if you really want to have like a greenish blue colored hair, if you want to do it on brown, it will probably come out uh, looking pretty vibrant on your brown hair. So let's watch how she braids her hair. We've been using the coil hair ties. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but these are really great. Um, if you're wearing your hair in a ponytail for a long time, uh, when I used to go to work, I would have to wear my hair back because it was a food service job. Um, but I would put my hair in these coil ties and I would not get a headache at all. Uh, they also hold the hair really well and they don't get tangled or stuck or anything like that. But you can get these at Walmart. Um, that's where I got them. You can also, I've seen them on Amazon and pretty much, uh, I've actually bought a, a package of these at uh, Michael's. So you, they have them everywhere. You can find these, um, and they're really not too expensive. This uh, package, I think, cost me a dollar on the clearance, and they last for a really long time. We haven't had them um, get overly stretched out or snap on us. These are, 
<laughs> These are a really good product to have. If you have girls with that like to tie their hair up or you have to go to work, definitely get some coil hair ties. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Looks pretty. Yeah. You love it? Yeah. It's pretty. I love it. It looks so pretty. So we, that is the finished look. And it looks, I think it looks beautiful. What do you think? I like it a lot. It's so pretty. You like it a lot? It's so much better than the last one because the last one was like very faded. Like you could barely tell it was kind of there. Probably because it was very light color. Mm -hmm. But this one's better. Yeah, this one came out really nice. And like yes. I yeah, uh, it does feel her her hair does feel really soft, and even though we use the lightning um, spray, her because the because the hair coloring is conditioning, she just got like a conditioning treatment as well. So her hair does feel really really soft, and it, it does feel really nice. The color is very saturated. I love that it, it is so noticeable and it fades really well because of her hair color being so dark on the top. The green-ish color looks really great with her, um, with her hair. So something to keep in mind is that this particular color stained my hands pretty badly when I was rinsing out her hair. I typically don't wear gloves when rinsing out the hair, um, so that's why I did it th that way this time. But um, it definitely stained my hands and my fingernails so that's just something to keep in mind if you are going to try out this color uh, another thing is that it did stain the countertops and the tub as i was rinsing it out and it's not really a big deal because it will come out um, it's a washable color so every time she washes her hair it's going to get lighter just the same as every time i clean the countertops and clean the tub it's going to come out it's not going to be permanent but it's just something to keep in mind if you don't want to have blue in your tub. Um, I would definitely recommend this color um, for people that are looking to achieve uh, the greenish blue hair color in their hair. And it is, um, the Arctic Fox brand is uh, probably a little bit on the pricey side. However, we will get to do a few applications with this bottle. Um, we did buy it at Sally Beauty Supply. And if you sign up for uh, email notifications, they will give you a $5 off coupon for your next purchase. So we're going to head back to Sally's to get her her next, next color, which I think she said would be what color? Red? Maybe. Maybe red? Maybe red. We'll see. But she's going to decide and we're going to go pick that up with our $5 off coupon. And then we can do another video for you guys. And actually the next video that I plan to do... Um, for the makeup and for the beauty vlog is actually going to be for my hair because I'm going to be needing a henna application and I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. Uh, also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get notifications because I am going to be doing a giveaway in the near future. Um, so if you're subscribed, you won't miss out on that. And I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. I hope you had fun. Did you have a good time? Yeah, yeah it was fun because it's always fun to do fun things with our hair. And we will see you next time.